if you're going to be sewing caps or pockets with the pocket clamp, uh, you need to install the wide angle driver. And I have the box here that it typically comes in. Um, so let's take a look at unpacking this, what you need, and how to install it. Inside the box, you'll find just a piece of cardboard topping a bit of foam that's holding everything else into place. And inside here, you'll find your cap frames, your clips. Typically, these will be attached uh, to the frames themselves. You'll find the driver and the lower support shaft. I'm going to start with this lower support shaft, so I'm going to pull this out of here. And I'm also going to grab this driver while I'm at it. As I'm unpacking this, one thing that I want to mention, you probably want to keep this box. And if not the box, then take these foam inserts and put them into a storage container that you can use to help store the driver, the lower support arm. But these will help keep everything nice and supported and in place as you store them. To start, I'm going to remove the hoop arms using a 6 millimeter Allen wrench. You're going to need two of the thumb screws to attach the driver, but so that I don't lose the other two, I tend to put them in the outermost position and just hold them in the carriage of the machine. Now for the other side. And then I'm going to store this one here so that I don't lose it. Perfect. Now I'm going to remove the hook guard and I'm going to do that by loosening this thumb screw and then sliding this out. And now I need to lower the thumb screws, these larger pieces, so that the screw does not stick above this T-nut. So this T-nut is going to go into this channel underneath here that we just pulled that hook guard out of. I just want to make sure that these screws are not hitting, sitting tall enough that they would hit the rotary hook or anything else as it slides into place. I want to loosen these thumb screws so that they are just flush with the top of that T-nut. To install, I'll ease the T-nut into the channel, slide into place, and go all the way back. It's got to go all the way back. You've got to feel that hard stop. And then I'll tighten these thumb screws. If it doesn't go all the way back, if you don't feel that hard stop, it's not all the way in. Now I'll reinstall that hook guard and tighten that thumb screw. Apply a couple drops of oil to the support shaft, ease the driver on over the lower arm with the bearing block going over that lower support shaft and then the bracket going right, right onto the carriage. Install the thumb screws. You can slide the driver a little bit left or right if you need to to line them up. Tighten the screws an eighth to a quarter turn more with that six millimeter Allen wrench. Now your driver is installed and ready to use. Uh, to remove it, reverse the process. Loosen the thumb screws. Don't lose it. Slide the driver off. Remove the hook guard.
Loosen these thumb screws, making sure that they are low enough to slide below the hook without causing issue. Slide the lower support shaft out. Reinstall the hook guard. And then reinstall your hoop arms or your clamp or whatever you're planning on using next.